Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Today, let's talk about sex. Two pieces of clothing that match each other, like a set. Like, I'm not even gonna lie. This is like the worst I've ever looked, I think, on a video. And like, I was really trying to like get cute and stuff, but I'm not feeling it. Like, I wanna do this video because I've been pushing it off for like literally a month but i look a mess so the hot weather is upon us it's the season of being outside and anytime somebody's like hey girl um we're gonna go here let's do this we're gonna be outside all day get ready be ready in 30 minutes we're coming we're on the way um be, look cute bye by having a set already in your closet you just cut down on the time it's gonna take you to find an outfit and get ready you can spend most of your time on your hair and your lashes and your lip gloss and your brows you already have a, a set like an outfit without any effort so i have like five sets that i'm gonna show y'all not all of them are like cute hot girl summer outfits <laughs> some of them are like cozy outfits but some of them are like airport outfits i mean you could do whatever you want to do i just think that it's really important for everyone to step your set game up <laughs> before we get into the video make sure that you like comment subscribe tell your friends to tell their friends to subscribe and once again i apologize for how rough i look i don't even have my lighting set up like it's looking real dull in here and like I don't know, this is raw, uncut, I have no lip gloss on, like, this is just, this is me, this is real, this is me, this is everywhere I'm supposed to be now, come on, shine on. Okay, so the first set is a three-piece from Boohoo, um, and I don't remember how much it costed but i'll put it in either on the screen or in the description box so make sure you read the description box down below <laughs> but anyway so yeah it's like a three-piece set these are like the little pants i'll try to get another angle so that y'all can see the bottoms but it's like a cardigan super like cozy really soft material with a matching um like cami with it um and it just looks like Hopefully y'all can see, that's how it looks. And then, yeah. So my favorite thing to do when I work from home is to like wake up and do my morning routine and then put this on because it makes me feel like I'm dressed but I'm not like uncomfortably dressed. So I can like, I feel productive and I feel motivated to get stuff done but I'm not like in jeans and like heels and stuff, you know? So I just really love this, it's like my favorite outfit. And this was also supposed to be my airport outfit going to LA for spring break. If you haven't watched that vlog, um, I'm gonna put it right here so you can go watch it. But um, it didn't come in time, so I had to wear like some dumb stuff to the airport. But I think this is a really cute airport fit, really cute for traveling, really cute for working from home. I even wear this to clean the house sometimes. Like I just like feeling put together. And also gray is my favorite color. Well, it's not my favorite color, but it's my favorite like color to wear. Um, and I love like gray interior, like my bed is gray, my couch is gray, like I have gray everywhere, so. These are what the pants look like. They're like elastic waist, you know, just like, ooh, hey there. Um, It probably don't even look as good as I think it does. Anyway, but yeah, so it just looks like this, Um, the pants, I mean, like the pant legs are like wide leg. They're just really flowy and comfortable. Everything's one shade, one color. I just love this, like, I really love it. And I think everyone should get one of these three piece sets. Like Skims has them, Boohoo has them, Forever 21, Pretty Little Thing, Sheen has them. Like, I think every girl should have, even guys actually too. I think everyone should all have like a cute little set like this because it really makes you like motivated to like, do stuff i don't like how you cannot see my face but like this is not the work it makes you motivated to like get stuff done but still you're comfortable and this is also one of those things that a lot of times i try not to let this leave the house because i don't like it being like covered in outside bacteria so i can like take a nap in my not in my bed but on top of my bed in this and wake up and get back to work and like i don't know i just love it so that's number one so anyway um, yeah, this is the next set. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw me post in this. And if you saw me, if you follow me on Twitter, then you saw me post with this, this too. Um, and this is like, well, honestly, this shirt 
low key does give me like grandma vibes um, because I didn't realize how long the sleeves were and how like, you know, like, I don't know, it can kind of give you grandma, but like the shorts make everything better. Well, before I show y'all, let me just talk about it. So it's from Shein. I posted this, um, like I said, on my social media, but it's also one of the sets that I have in my Shein, my look, my, my most recent Shein haul. Um, I had to bring it back to show y'all again because it's a really, really, really cute set. But let me show y'all the shorts. I like it because it's really um, comfortable and like, sorry, I have like some thick underwear on, that's why, okay. Um, but it's like, they're really comfortable. I love, green is my favorite color, y'all. So I love a green, oh my gosh, sorry. I t all my videos are so chaotic. Anyway, but yeah, that's what they look like. They're so cute. It's like a play set almost, you know? Something you just wear, kind of just spend the day out. Don't really know what you're gonna do, but it's like a perfect set for anything. You can dress it up, dress it down, doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, so really like this spring set. It's so springy and it's just like, I feel like I can like frolic through some grass barefoot with this on, like it's so cute. Um, I don't really have anything to say. I don't know how much this was easier either at the top of my head, but um, I'll just, you know, put the stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna put it on the screen. I might just put everything in the description box with the links. Um, but yeah, I think this is a really cute. The buttons do come undone, but I don't know what I would wear underneath, underneath this. And yeah, elastic waist, super cute. That was number two. Okay, this is number three, right? Yeah. And this is also from Boohoo. And it's another like cozy, like comfortable set. You probably can't tell, but it says woman in embroidery on the um, hoodie part and also on the pants, but I'll get into that in a second. Um, the biggest turnoff with this um, set or whatever is that the head hole is really small. Like, I don't know if they made this for people with abnormally small heads, but like my head is not big in my opinion, I don't think my head is big, but this is a struggle to get on and off every single time. Like it's not stretchy either. It's kind of just like you have to like, you know, but other than that, I really love it. It's super comfortable. It's really oversized and like, it's just so cute. Like I love it. And this is like one of my favorite ones to lay around in, in the house too. Um, but this one is like fleece, like it's more cozy. So I don't like to do too much in it cause I'll get hot super fast. But um, let me show you all the pants because they're really cute. So it says woman right here. I don't think y'all can see it. Wow, y'all can't see anything. It says it right here. I think you can kind of see it. Anyway, it says it right there. It's like a drawstring kind of sweat like this. So um, yeah, one thing I don't understand is like this pocket has a hole in it. I don't know if that was on purpose or an accident, but it's like, I can stick my hand like, I can touch my thigh, my bare thigh. But on this side, it's a real pocket, like there's no hole. So I'm like wondering if that was a mistake. I haven't really cared enough to like ask about it. But um, yeah, it's just like, this is how long the hoodie is. Like it's almost, it's like the size of a dress for me. A little longer than a dress, a dress for me. But I just really like it because it's super comfortable, super chill. Um, you can even ask my friends, like pretty much every time I go to their house, I wear this because we always just like chill and like talk. But this is just so cozy, like, ugh. Like now I don't wanna take it off. I should've saved it for last. Cause like, I wanna just stay in it all day. So cute. And I wear this, yes, in the summer. Like, I don't care. I be cold. So yeah, I'm sorry. Like, I don't wanna take this off. It's so comfortable. <laughs> Boohoo had some really cute stuff back in like February, March. Now though, their stuff isn't cute to me. Y'all, I do not feel like good. Like I feel good, but like yesterday I was so motivated to like get through this video. I mean, not get through this video. But yesterday I was so motivated to get stuff done. I was gonna do this video yesterday. And then I had a migraine, so I couldn't do anything all day. And then I was like, well, you know what? Tomorrow I probably have a lot of energy because after migraines, I usually feel this huge burst of energy. And the reason why is because like migraines 
well for me i'm gonna speak on my own experience like when i have a migraine i have to literally stop what i'm doing you know and like get better basically so and migraines aren't like two seconds long they're not like an hour long they, they take all day for me and so um but usually after a migraine i'm always like super like you know hype and ready to do stuff because it's like i spent the whole day before you know in the dark couldn't look at a screen couldn't listen to music like i just had to sit there in silence most of the time i do go to sleep but like you know what i mean like i couldn't do anything so when i finally am better and like recovered from it i'm like okay let's do this let's do that but today i don't feel that way and i think it's also because of the weather like where i live it has been raining for the past like two weeks with like maybe one or two days with minimal sunshine in between. And it's, it mood, I mean not mood, weather really affects my mood, it affects my motivation, my productivity, my inspiration, it just affects me in general. But I didn't realize that also the weather was making me have all these, I've been having a lot of migraines lately and it's because of the freaking weather. All this rainy, cloudy gloominess is not for me. I need the sun and, and I'm not just, <laughs> I'm not understanding because also like, I'm sorry. I still got two more sets to go through, but hold on y'all got to talk. Also like, maybe I, should I do a chit chat, get ready with me? Cause now I low key be having stuff to talk about. But when someone told me to, I didn't have anything to talk about. Anyway, so yeah, Um, what was I saying? Oh, April showers bring May flowers. I don't even know if that's what I was saying, but that's what we're gonna start. April showers bring May flowers. If you live in Texas, then you probably know we didn't really have any showers in April. April was very sunny, very like pretty outside, like no rain, maybe like once or twice the entire month. So I'm thinking, okay, well, and I said this at the end of April, I was like, okay, we didn't have any rain this month. I hope they don't think that they're gonna postpone the rain to May. Like if we just weren't gonna have any rain, then we just weren't gonna have any rain. But now all the rain that we should have had last month, we're having this month and it's so annoying. It's literally May 20th and we have like 10, 11 to nine. Uh, we only have a few more days left in this month and like it's been raining the entire month. I feel bad for anybody whose birthday is in May because this rain is not it, sweetie. It's not. My birthday's in July. Don't have to worry about it. Um, but yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at. So yeah, I didn't even like, I have this on my head because I didn't do my wig. Well, I wasn't even wearing this wig. I woke up with a completely different wig on my head, but I like accidentally like pushed it back. So I went ahead and just took it off and put this on and put this on because I, was, I just don't have the energy. I don't feel like it. And I'm just going through it. And that's fine because everybody be going through it sometimes. So yeah, but on Saturday, which is two days from now, the day after tomorrow, right? Today's Thursday. Yeah, the day after tomorrow, I'm going home to Dallas with my family. And I'm gonna have a great summer there because I don't wanna be here anymore. Um, and yeah. Okay, that was our brief intermission. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Let's get back into the video. I'm kind of glad that this didn't end up like working. Like I didn't come in time for the brunch because this is not as cute as I thought it was at all. Well, let me see when I actually have it fully on, but it's kind of giving. Ah! Okay. I feel like I belong in like, what is that time period? Like ancient Greece with this on. <laughs> or what is this? Oh. I just, well, I'll just slip it on. Oh, there's a zipper. I'll still just slip it on. Oh, no, I won't. Okay. Yeah, this is not cute. Like, I'm not even interested in putting this all the way on anymore. What the heck? How is this supposed to? This doesn't even make sense. And I don't even want to put it on. Like, I'm getting a little tired of this. Like, what? This isn't cute. I don't know why I ordered it. If y'all can hear me, I'm sorry. Like, I don't know why this isn't coming on. I didn't think it was this complicated when I ordered it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have. But, like, I'm a little too thick to slide it up the, like, normal way that I usually do. But my, it's not going over my head either. So, I don't know what to do. 
and I'm like looking at it and I just really don't think it's even that cute. Yeah, like I don't, this isn't cute to me. Oh wait, oh my gosh. Let me find out. I just got this to work. Ugh. Okay. Oh, okay. It's on for the most part. Ew, I look like I'm in the wrong time period with this on. Not ew, like it's not just hideous, but like, I can honestly wear this the whole week, Boston. Okay. I have it on. Oh, my hair is stuck. Um, this is the top. I don't like it. Like, this looks a mess. Uh, even if I had full face of makeup, hair freshly laid, like, no. It's not giving. It's not. I, I look like I, I feel... I don't know. I'm already like, I don't care. Even if it was the cutest thing ever, I would still be like, F it because it's so hard to get on. I don't know if you can see my underwear. Hopefully you can't. Okay. But like, look at this. Like, ooh, almost fell. Like, I don't know. If it's giving what it was supposed to have gave. Like, I think I wasted my money. Like, it's not hideous. But you have to see it on me, like, well, you are seeing it on me, but like, fully on me, like, I mean, I don't know, right here it's not looking too bad, but I don't know. Like, what is this? What am I supposed to do with this? It's giving curtain. It's giving an extra pocket. Like, what is this? And why? I, pre I really don't think it looked like this on the model. And like what? Are we in ancient Greece? Like, this is just what's really bothering me. This is, no. This is, I don't like how like tight this is to my chest. And I don't like that. I just, mm -mm. Hard to get on, probably gonna be hard to get off. Don't know what all this is. And then like, it's not cute. The reason why I was never drawn to these types of things, but because the colors were really springy and pastel-y and like cute. Don't I look like I should be in the Aladdin movie? <laughs> no, but like, because it was like all springy and cute, I was like, oh, let me get it. Regret, I regret. Let me know what y'all think. Also like, why is this Oh, is it supposed to be off the shoulder? Wait a minute. Because why is it stretchy? I actually like it better like this. I think she did have it off the shoulder. <gasps> OMG. Let me see if that changes anything. Oh, it looks worse like this, actually. So, <laughs> okay, yeah. Um, let me know what y'all think about this outfit specifically. Because, like, it's to know for me. I don't think y'all could change my mind, but I still wanna know what y'all think. We got one more outfit, so I'll be right back. Y'all, uh, I had it on wrong. Okay, the, okay, let me stand up. So this wasn't supposed to be on the side. It's supposed to be in the front, so it's like this, right? And then you see how it's more bigger over here? It's supposed to be like, this is the center, and then the, it's two areas like this. So like that big fat thing was supposed to be split between these two hips. So it's like nice and flat. You know what I mean? Leg. Like it's like, first it's like, you know, business, you know, classy. Boom. Oh yeah, this makes me wanna dance. Like. I don't know y'all, this is kinda cute. It still looks like a mess right here, but like, now that I'm wearing it the right way, I'm like, ooh. Last but not least, the black on gym. Oh my God, I'm so tired, y'all. So the last um, set is a sweatsuit, tracksuit from a brand called Seven Star. Um, and it just looks like this. I like that it has like the stitchy, like, you know what I mean? Like it's like the stitchy, I don't know what it's called, but. Yeah, so they had um, a lot of colors. 
pink, blue, dark blue, purple, lavender, brown, black, gray, and green, I think were the colors. Um, but yeah, so it just looks like, oh, I forgot, there is actually something on the back. So it has like the big logo on the back. And it's, it was $80 for the both. So like the sweatsuit, I mean the hoodie and the pants you could buy separately. But if you bought them together, you saved money and um, you have a set like. Um, so yeah, it comes with like a full like, I mean, it's a sweatsuit, but it's just like really good quality. Like it's super thick. I like that there's something everywhere. Like there's something on the front of the hoodie, on the front of the pants, on the back of the hoodie. And there's also this really cute back pocket, which I think is really useful. And it's already come in handy for me. Unfortunately, these are not currently like available for purchase, <laughs> but you should follow Seven Star Clo, Seven the Number, S T A R C L O, on Instagram, because maybe they'll restock. You never know. This is like one of my favorites because it's just so comfortable. It's so so good quality. Like you don't understand. Then it's black owned, so it's like. <laughs> Look at this, bro. My nails get caught on everything. So that wraps up this video. This is like the most chaotic video that I've ever done. And yes, I'm still gonna edit this and post it. I'm clearly going through it. One of my lashes is basically not even on my eye anymore. The lighting is weird because I have this light behind me that goes in and out. Though so I'm using natural light from outside and the sun is just kind of doing whatever it wants to do. Um. So I don't have my lighting. I'm literally, my tripod is sitting on a chair. Like I just, <laughs> let me know if y'all want to see like weekly vlogs or like more like chit chat, get ready with me type stuff. I have like a graduation I'm going to on the East Coast next month. And that's going to be a cute vlog. I have a wedding I'm going to go to in July. That's going to be a cute vlog. My birthday is in July. That'll be a cute vlog. Um, I'm also having a photo shoot next month. That should be a cute vlog. So I, I feel like I'll be able to really be consistent with the vlogs, but that fashion content, we don't really know. Thank y'all so much for watching. Hopefully you made it to the end because even though it was chaotic and a hot mess, I think it was still pretty entertaining, but that's just me. Um, <laughs> thank y'all for watching. Thank you for supporting me and continuing to like, like, comment, subscribe. Make sure that you tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends to subscribe to my channel, Erica Lenise, and let me know what other stuff that y'all want to see on my channel. It's it's consistent season, it's grind season, it's content season. Make sure that you check the description box for all the links, the sizes, and um, the items that I showed y'all in this video. Love y'all and peace out, Girl Scouts.